El Saler. The salt extracted from the old salt works near the Racco de la Olla was one of the earliest goods obtained by the crown in this area when the Albufera was considered royal property. Its name, El Saler, refers to the small grouping of cottages where this salt was stored before being transported to the city of Valencia. In 1855, El Saler had only 39 residents and one inn. The Cubano and Montelieu cottages were amongst the most well-known houses in the village. The last of these, which was unoccupied and in ruinous conditions, was demolished in 1998. This municipal district of Valencia is currently home to some 700 people and is known for its numerous cafes, restaurants and shops. Before the CV500 dual carriageway was built, the only connection between El Saler and the Albufera and the Marsh was through its port. At Port del Saler, there was a fleet of boats that carried merchandise and passengers to the villages on the lake. At the present time, people have to cross over the highway on a footbridge to reach this wharf, which has become completely separated from the village. The Church of San Jose, dating from the early 20th century, and the Casa de la de Maná, from the late 18th century, are among the highlights in this district of Valencia. Until the past century, hunting permits for the Albufera were auctioned off at the entrance hall of the Casa de la de Maná giving it its name of the House of Demand. Heading from the village towards the sea, you pass the Luis Sant Angel School, which is worth noting for El Piverot, a monumental stone pine tree about 175 years old. Near the beach on the right, there is a recreation area called El Montañar de la Mona, with fountains and tables, and on the left is the Casa Forestal in El Saler, which houses the offices of the municipal forest rangers.